China's Forestry and Customs authorities destroyed about six tons of ivory on Monday. This is the first time the government over there has publicly destroyed ivory, which it had confiscated. Ms. Chang Dili now reports. In the first public destruction of smuggled ivory, more than six tons of products confiscated by forestry and customs authorities will be crushed into powder. Some of the ivory particles will be donated to museums for public education. Among the ivory products said to be destroyed are collections of tusks, statues, and jewelry. A city's report claims that the illegal global ivory trade was responsible for the slaughter of nearly 22,000 elephants in 2012. And now, with ivory still prized as a status symbol among China's wealthy elite, the country is now one of the largest ivory markets in the world. Some of the elephants' hometowns have suffered heavy losses from the trade. African countries have uh, suffered a lot, uh, particularly from poaching, uh, but let me speak for Kenya and say that in Kenya uh, we have lost uh, uh, several personnel, uh, to, particularly from the Kenya Wide Red Service, uh, to poachers, and uh, also poaching comes at a great loss to, to, uh, to our economy. The Chinese government has vowed to protect endangered wildlife. Last year, it worked with more than 22 countries in cracking down on illegal wildlife trafficking. Over 200 cases were closed and more than 100 suspects arrested. What we're seeing is that China is a very engaged party to our convention site. They are taking stronger domestic measures. They have set up through the management authority a cross-agency uh, collaborative initiative. So we're seeing a lot more effort going into combating this illegal trade. We all need to do more. All states need to do more. And what we can see is China is increasing its effort domestically and internationally. And as China takes further measures to deal with illegal smuggling, it's hoped that the public will also join in protecting the world's wildlife. Jean Chow, CCTV.